Are you looking to learn CAD software such as Siemens NX or SolidWorks? If you are, our books have you covered. With easy to follow examples and definitions from beginner to advanced, you will almost certainly learn something new. Purchase a PDF or paperback in our store today. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I would like to show you a fantastically powerful technique called Whole Series. And um, what I'm going to show you, so I've got this mount plate and this transformer and this, and what I'm going to do is go to the very first one where I want the screw to go through, and I'm going to make that the work part. So you double click on it and make the work part. And then you go to the uh, Whole function and you select whole series and there it is whole series uh, when you select a location with a hole you get the first point and then you can go into the uh, sketcher so what i'm going to do here is make a rectangle so now i've got all the points ready to go and i say finish and i'm going to put some uh, 440 uh, counter counter bore okay so i'm going to do a uh, whole series that's what i want whole series and I'm going to start my whole series with a counter bore. And it's going to be a socket head cap screw. And it's going to be a four, a number four. There's that. Okay, so that's going to create the holes that go through the first little piece of this design. So then I click on this button, middle, go down, and I say uh, select body. And then the holes are going to go through there. And these holes are going to, see it says match dimensions of start hole. So that's cool. Uh, good. Uh, then I'm going to select this next body, which is another middle, if you will. And then I go to the end. Here, here's end. And this one wants to be threaded. So uh, when I go down here and say select body and select this one, it's making a actual threaded hole. Uh, in the end. And that thread, I want depth of uh, 0.45, 0.45. Uh, so I want the thread depth. Uh, if this is 0.45, then I want the thread depth to be 0.3, let's say. Okay. So good. So now I say, okay. And all of the components now have the holes that I need in order to bolt this thing together, um, as proven by the fact that uh, if I go back to the uh, the exploded view, there we go. You can see that there's the four mounting holes. The four holes are through each one. Uh, now, interestingly enough, if I go into the individual components, if I open those up. I can go to the uh, part navigator and see that there is a linked simple screw entity uh, through each one of these. So you can find out what it's, you know, what it, what it is. And when you uh, edit the parameters, it shows you um, that there is a link between, uh, you know, the initial part. And it asks you if you want to break the link, which I don't. So that's magical. That's fantastic when you're creating um, a bunch of things that have to be screwed together. It's a very, very pow powerful technique of the whole series. And I suggest that the next time you've got a bunch of things that are bolted together, you give it a try. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. My name is Steve Samuel. I'm from Design Visionaries, and I really appreciate you uh, watching the video. Have a wonderful day.